How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to a prison architect going green. I certainly hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. I, I really am excited to be back because we have such huge plans right now, and it makes me really, really happy that we have huge plans right now. What are you complaining about, bladder? Oh! That was something I forgot about, wasn't it? The fact that prisoners kind of need to be able to use the bathroom during the day. Okay, let's build a really quick sort of toilet block thing in the yard. I'm not sure how great of an idea this is, but I'm going to try it. So if we do a straight wall there, and then I do something like this... This, in theory, will work as a toilet block, right? Sort of. It's it's a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a nasty way to do it, but it it'll 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 sort of do the job, I guess. Um, so just a bunch of toilets in there, and you know what? I am gonna do drains in here as well, so that if the toilets get broken, they don't flood the yard. And then in terms of flooring, I mean. I don't know, uh, concrete tiles, I guess, is, is kind of the way to go on this. So we'll do something like that. That got rid of my walls, annoyingly, but sure. Uh, so put the brick walls just back in here. And then in terms of piping, I mean, it's just going to be a case of... Oh, that needs to go. Um, it's just going to be a case of doing this, essentially. So that'll be fine. Um, yeah, those utilities there aren't needed anymore. So dismantle these guys up to about there. And there we go. So that'll be toilets for prisoners, I guess. That's that's probably fine. Seems like an interesting little bit of construction, I suppose. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that ends up going. I'm kind of hoping the toilets don't get installed. Okay, yeah, the toilets have been installed before the the walls have gone in. That's that's fine. That's great. That's just what I wanted. Hopefully that works. That's kind of that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm I'm hoping that works. Is is what I'm doing. Now, you might be wondering where the $127,000 that we have in the moment has come from, and you would be right in assuming that I have gone ahead and taken out some trees. But I kind of feel slightly justified in doing that, given that we are going to have to take out all of these at some point anyway. So, what I want to do is I want to get started on building all of this down here, but I have made a couple of changes to it between this episode and the last. So... We now have these rooms all sort of laid out off of this main corridor. And uh, these four here are going to be classrooms. This is going to be a workshop. This is going to be a laundry room. This is going to be a cleaning cupboard. This can be a chapel. And then this over here, I'm not really sure what it's going to be. But we kind of have everything else laid out. We also have this big empty space in here, which I am inclined to say could be a yard. If I'm completely honest, I think a yard would uh, would be an interesting one in there. I might put another sort of common space in the middle of it. But we'll see. I think a giant yard might not be a bad shout. I was also thinking, uh, oh yeah, I was thinking this could maybe be a pantry. And then obviously we have all of this space up here as well to play with if we really want to, but we'll see about that. But what I want to start doing today, just plain and simple is I want to start putting in some walls, is is what I want to do. So these perimeter walls are crazy expensive. I'm only going to use them for this section here, and then they will be, you know, not really used anywhere else. But what I'm going to try and, and do here is... Uh, ooh, do we want to use a different building material for all of this? Because we could. We absolutely could. We could use... So by default, we use brick. How much is the brick foundation? It is $10. Okay. So if we wanted to use literally anything else, it looks like it's going to be more expensive. Which is going to be a bit of a pain, yeah. So there, are, even the decayed one is, is more expensive. So that's fun. I, I think we'll stick with brick, to be totally honest. So what I want to do is I want to put in all of this space here, right? So just the delivery areas are going to be added in to begin with. And I'm not going to build anything other than that 
until this area is done. I'm going to try and build this thing in, in sections so that, uh, you know, so that I can, uh, I can make some money as I build it from selling all the trees that we chopped down, basically. You know, that's, that's pretty much it, I'm going to be honest. Um, so is this all getting used here? I did see a prisoner. Yeah, it is getting used. Beautiful. That's what you want to see. That right there is what you want to see. You've got, uh, we've got some, some toilets in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the yard. That seems fine by me. What's also kind of interesting is just the sheer number of, um, tomatoes being thrown into the kitchens. There's quite a few of them in the pantries as well. There's a good bit of money in tomatoes there, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of them in the kitchens. A lot of tomato soup getting made for the prisoners, and I'm honestly okay with that. I freaking love tomato soup, so, you know, they, I enjoy it, they enjoy it, we all enjoy it, is, is what I'm thinking. Now, let's see, what am I, what are my workers actually doing at the moment? There's a couple of them just sort of sat about. It looks like most of them are coming down to deal with this wall, though, which is fantastic. And, oh man, thinking about it, I am going to have to put all sorts of doors into this to actually make it work, but well, I think we'll be okay. I might just have to do a lot of locking doors open is what I might have to do. But uh, let's go ahead and prioritize all of this. Let me also go to flooring and let's see. So we have this, this limestone here. That would look interesting leading up to the prison, but I think it's a little, it's maybe a little too much. Um, we have wood. That will probably be a little bit too much. We could just do road. Could do stone. Could just do paving stones or concrete tiles. I'm kind of inclined to just say paving stones the whole way up the, uh, up the yard here. So we'll do exactly that and prioritize that work too. That way the entire yard is going to be nicely paved and we're going to have, you know, no trees growing in there. I'm just, I'm honestly just really, what do you mean a death? Hello? Oh, okay. I mean, I not oh, okay, but, you know. <clears throat> I actually, I realize that sounds a lot worse than I, than I intended to. <laughs> oh, someone's dead? Who died? Oh, it was just that guy. Yeah, that's, that's probably not a good look, is, is what that is. But, you know, it, it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get some lights into this space here, just so it's nice and bright. I can't double them up, unfortunately, but what I can do is something like that. So we'll have some lights in the back here as well. And, uh, I can actually do sort of the same here too. And we'll have some lights just facing that path as well. Some beautiful little solar powered, uh, lights for the yard. Oh, wow. This is coming along really nicely. This is actually, this has actually come along really nicely. That was kind of quick. All right. Well, no complaints from me. Um, I think they are going to need a door on there. So let's go to doors and let's go to large jail door. And we'll slap it on there. And we'll get that prioritized. And that will start to, uh, well, it should pretty much finish that entire uh, building, which will be fantastic news. I don't know if we need to move the logs out of it or not. No, nope, there we go. Uh, so that bit's done, and I would assume the lower part is also done. There it goes. Okay. So now that that's done, what I want to do is I want to go in, and I really want to use, I really do want to use, like, the white walls and things like that. They're just so interesting looking. And they are the same price as the brick walls. The tiled ones are uh, 90, which is a bit much for all of this. Uh, we have these green walls too we have blue stripes we have bottle walls which are interesting reclaimed wood which i imagine would probably burn really easily i don't know too much about that hay bale walls hmm okay i think we're maybe well yeah we're just gonna stick with brick is what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and just put all of these walls into here. And uh, we're going to have to make sure to go around and start just locking a lot of these doors open. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll go back to here and make sure that those bits have been done, which they have. If we go to doors, we're going to want some regular jail doors there. 
there, and there. And we're technically going to want them down here as well, but we're not going to do that just yet. We'll get those all uh, installed. We'll get all the walls in as well. And I'm slightly tempted to say that we also go ahead and put in flooring as we go through here, just to kind of get that all out of the way as well. So we were doing... You know what? I kind of want to do... Oh, what way do I want to do this? I was originally going to do garbage delivery... Garbage exports deliveries, but I'm slightly inclined to say exports garbage deliveries. So the prisoners are brought in up to here. And then they're brought through this way into what is essentially going to be a reception. I'm kind of okay with that idea. But it does make it a very small deliveries area. So maybe we do garbage deliveries so deliveries are kind of in the middle and then exports at the bottom i think that would be a better idea uh let's also just open these doors and kind of lock them open here so lock you open and then lock you open as well and i guess that's essentially what we're gonna do um now let's figure out what kind of flooring we're doing so this is garbage i'm inclined to say I mean, the great flooring is pretty expensive. The metal flooring, not so much. Uh, so garbage can be metal. If this is deliveries, I'm kind of inclined to just say mosaic. And then for exports, honestly, the same thing. So we'll sort of do it that way. And then we'll do... We can't do paving stones, but I can do a little bit of concrete floor there, which is... Well, you know what? We'll just do the metal floor and then mosaic and mosaic for there. So that'll be fine. We'll get that all installed. Uh, the corridors, I mean, concrete tiles kind of seem like the best bet for it, or just concrete floor that we already have, but it's kind of bland looking. Um, what else do we have options-wise? I kind of want something that they're going to walk fast on, like the uh, the concrete floor. The cargo floor is probably a good one for uh, some of that space to my right as well. But let's just take a look. The fancy tiles are normal. White tiles are normal. Metal floor is fast. Ceramic floor is normal. Wooden floor is normal. Paving stones are outdoor only. Concrete tiles are fast. So I'm going to just use concrete tiles, I think. Since they'll look a little bit different than the, uh, the standard one. So we'll do it that way. And what I want to go ahead and do as well is go into here and I want to start laying out my admin area here. So that's going to be a bunch of offices leading to visitation and all that as well. So this space here. And we can do this space as well. So we'll get both of those parts laid out. And that'll be a beautiful thing is what it'll be because we can actually start making that functional. And thinking about it, we also need a utilities space. Because that is something we don't actually have. So what if we were to go ahead and say that we have sort of this, this admin uh, area here. I mean, I guess utilities could stay where they are. But I'm thinking this space here could potentially be cut out for utilities then we do sort of a weirdly shaped farm up there and then the rest of them in here so that's that's not a, that's not impossible to do um in terms of planning i mean it would just be a simple case of that right there but it's also a case of how do we get them to it and what did i plan on these rooms being because i really don't remember what these rooms were supposed to be i really don't and i guess it's not the end of the world staff don't really need to get through to the utility space so maybe we just don't let them through to, uh, we just put like this kind of thing. We say, you know, door there, door there, and door there. And then utilities go in here. That seems fine. That seems like a, uh, a fair enough way to do things. So that's basically what we're going to do. And hopefully it'll work out, I guess. Uh, now let's go ahead and just prioritize all of this. Because I'd like it to be done in a pretty good amount of time. And uh, I guess... Oh, flooring's going in too. I forgot that we uh, still had to do that. I think it's going to look pretty good though. 
I do. I, I really do think this is going to look pretty good. I'm hoping it's going to function pretty well, because if it doesn't, it's going to be a bit of a disaster. Oh my god, that's all flashing again. All right, well, that's great. Hopefully nothing gets found. Hopefully my farms are just functioning the way I want them to. Um, it is interesting that we seem to be missing a few bits here and there. So if I go to objects and I go to wheat plant... Yeah, it does look like we're missing a few sections that should have some wheat in there. And then this one as well looks like it's missing a few sections that should have some wheat in there. And then this one looks like it's fine. I think it is growing everything. But that was, that was a little bit weird that we were missing all that. Not, uh, not entirely sure how I feel about that. Um, what do you mean three deaths? What the hell? Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> um, right. Uh, <laughs> so a visitor has just been killed. Is is what's happened here. Um, and two escapes. So they killed a visitor, and then escaped. Did they kill two visitors? No. What the hell? Oh no! Why is it doing this? It's doing the thing. Oh, for God's sake. It's doing the thing where the prisoners are coming down to work on all the, uh, the trees and whatnot. I, I don't, I, I, uh, I don't even care. I, I don't even care. I honestly don't. It's whatever. I don't understand why it's doing that. I really don't. Um... I mean, if I say staff only, I can't designate this entire area as staff only. I can do that, though. Um, I'm going to set that as staff only as well, so prisoners maybe don't go through there. I don't know. I I, I don't. I honestly don't care. I'm not, you know, first time it happened is, oh, hell no, people are escaping. This time it's just annoying. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm sure there's a solution to it somewhere in uh, the comments, and I will have a look for it. Just at the time I'm recording this episode, the other episodes where mass escapes happened haven't gone out yet, so it's yeah, it's a bit of a pain. Is is what it is. I'll I'll look into it. It's just it yeah, it's it's annoying. I'm 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 annoyed at that. We've got nine prisoners escaping just because they came out to chop down some trees. I don't know. And four deaths. Okay. We still don't have protective custody, do we? Let's figure out protective custody. So Ha. Huh. I'll tell you what we're going to do. This is going to be a yard, right? That's fine being a yard. But I'm slightly tempted to change how it works. So if I go to planning and I go to here, I'm going to keep the game running pretty fast while I do this. Um, Let me do some doors here. Let me do a wall. And let me do some doors here. And then let me come over this way and do sort of the same thing. And then let me go ahead and put a wall just sort of, um, I want to say here. But that seems very small, so I'm going to say about here. And that's actually going to be two yards. This one's going to be protective custody. This one's going to be normal. Up this way, what I want to do is come in and build something like this. And that is going to be protective custody cells, if it can be. Uh, so if I go here and do something like this the whole way across, this might not work out exactly the way I wanted it to. It actually does, which is perfect. Um, so essentially, we're going to do protective custody cells right here. And uh, we'll see how that ends up working out, basically. Uh, we'll have sort of double stacked security right there. Um, in fact, security, or the door would be better there. Because I think what I can do is, let's see. So if that's where that is, we want to go one, two, three, four there, I think. Uh, so something like this the whole way across. That's going to be a weird space, so let's not do that. 
And, uh, yeah, basically what I'm thinking is we just have a bunch of protective custody up here. I'm not really sure how well it's going to work, but actually that looks pretty good. Uh, so let's just do that. Um, I don't think we're going to need that much of it, so that's probably enough, and then that can be sort of a common area there. In terms of a shower, I think that's something we're going to want for these guys, so let's do something like uh, this right here. Gives us kind of a weird space down here, though, for that yard, which I'm not too sure about. Uh, so let's just extend it down like this. And that can be sort of a shower space. We'll do sort of double doors here and here. Well, they have their common space. They have their yard. The canteen is going to be shared, I think. We're just going to have to put a lot of security in the canteen. And I guess uh, they have their own yard, which is going to be pretty secure as well. So they're going to overlap in canteen and they're going to overlap in their classes and stuff like that. But everything else, they're not going to be overlapping, so... We'll see how that goes, I guess. And uh, looking at this, I guess we can make that into a sort of extended corridor there, too. So that'll be fine, I, I suppose. Just a little bit of protective custody. Hopefully we don't need to expand it. And yeah, the farm size has gotten considerably smaller. But what I'm thinking is that we can technically expand that up into this space once those farms are uh, removed. So we're kind of okay on that front. Now, in terms of all of this down here, it looks like we're getting very close to kind of being done with all that. Um, if I go to doors, and I say a large jail door there, and prioritize that, it might, uh, it might go ahead and actually build a good chunk of that. Possibly. I guess we'll find out. So that's, that's built. That's all built. And that's all built. Lovely. Okay, well, that worked out pretty well. Let's go ahead and lock you open. And let's go ahead and do the same for all of uh, the small jail doors that need to go there, there, and there. And then we'll go ahead and just put in all of the walls for this space without putting in the doors because there's a lot of doors. Actually, you know what? The doors over here can absolutely go in because the doors over here are going to be staff doors. Obviously not all of them, but, you know, a good chunk of them can definitely go in. So something like this, we'll put you down here. And then these guys are going to be a little bit different because these guys are going to have to be uh, secure doors. So we're just going to be placing a bunch of chunks of wall uh, right there and there. And then if I go to doors, we want staff doors. And we're going to say one, two, three three, uh, not there, four, five, six, and then uh, I can't place them over here because trees are in the way. Fantastic. All right, well, that's fair enough. Uh, we'll go ahead and just prioritize all of that as well. And I think it's going to look pretty good. I really do. I think this is going to look, uh, I do think this is going to look pretty good. It's just going to be a total pain because, well, moving everybody down there, I think, is just going to be a little bit annoying. That's, that's pretty much my only takeaway from it. I just think it's going to end up being a little bit annoying. But we'll see. Uh, let's lock you open. Let's lock you open. And let's lock uh, you open as well. And then all of this is just coming together really nicely. So yeah, that's just going to be just a whole bunch of offices. In all of those spaces, the staff doors are in already, although it looks like they're not in a couple of places because I forgot that uh, trees existed. Uh, so we'll get that done. Prioritize all of it. And also get those little bits of wall there and there. So that'll be pretty good. That's, that's actually not bad looking. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put flooring into all of these, and I'm inclined to say lovely red carpets seem like the way to go. So we'll do that. I think we'll extend them underneath the doors as well. And then the hallways are concrete tiles. So what way do we want to do that? I guess mosaic can extend down there and there. I guess metal floor can extend down there. And then concrete tiles, uh, sorry, con yeah, concrete tiles extend all the way up here, and then all the way through here, and up to there, 
and up to here as well. So we'll get all of that installed, make it a priority, and then I guess... I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea to start working towards getting the utilities out here, because then we could start powering this place, which wouldn't be terrible. Uh, we do still have a considerable amount of money, so it's technically possible. Um, so yeah, let's go to Brick Foundations, and we'll get this bit laid out. Uh, this I'm going to ignore for now. This is technically a interior section. This is exterior. This is interior, so let's get this all uh, done right there. And I guess this is the canteen, so let's bring all of this around as well. Uh, so you're going to fill up, uh, let's see, you're going to fill up that space. Uh, that's all done, so this is going to come over to here. And uh, all of this is going to get filled up to, I don't really want to bring all of this over, honestly. We didn't need to bring that corridor down down there or did we oh we did because technically speaking uh this needs to run to here and then this all goes in and that'll give us reception corridor canteen visitation protective custody uh it doesn't give us this space yet uh the showers also need to exist and then this needs to exist as well but that's going to be exterior so what we do with that is we go brick wall and we say brick wall over here. And we'll bring the brick wall just around all of this as well. Uh, so something like that right there. Uh, then we want to have a look at this as well because this is also exterior. And then what do you mean two escapes today? Hello? Okay, now this I this I'm okay with. I'm gonna be honest. I I just some I love the tunnels. I really do. I adore the tunnels. They're just, it's just, it's just classic prison architect esca escaping right there, you know? That I don't mind. What I do mind is this weird priority thing that the game does. Anyway, let's have a look here and see how we're doing. So they, oh, they tunneled a hell of a distance there. I mean, fair play to them, honestly. That's, that's fair enough. Is, uh, is what it is, you know? They, they did a pretty good job. They got out. You know, that's their reward, I guess, is, uh, is what it is. So sure, that's, you know, well done to whoever escaped. Uh, now, in terms of building all of this, it's a fair bit of work that I've set my workers to uh, to do here. There's 50 of them, though, so I can't imagine it's going to take that long. I think the, the longest part of the process is just going to be taking out the trees. It pr well, probably. I'm also thinking, can I... Let me have a look here. If I go to logistics and I go to deliveries and I, let's see. So if, can I right click? So uh, docks, so link to helipads, docks, and the road via the logistics menu. Okay. So if I go to rooms and I say uh, deliveries are here. And I say garbage is here. And I say exports are here. So here's... So deliveries, right? So this. So what I, what I want to be doing with that, though, is... Hmm... So what is this? Control which services will be handled by specific docks, helipads, or the road. Doing so allows you to receive specific goods or prisoners to various locations around the prison by sea and air. Um, right. So deliveries from the road. Here's the thing. I don't want prisoners going to here. So inbound prisoners. Aha. Right. So that's fine. Um, but I, hmm. How do I stop 
deliveries from or prisoners from being brought to here. There is a way to do it. I just can't for the life of me remember. I'm almost certain there is a way to say that prisoners don't come into this delivery area. So logistics, prison labor, transport. So links to helipads, docks, and roads via logistics menu. So this guy is connected to the road, which is fine. So reception is connect. Can I connect reception to the road? I actually actually can, which is interesting. Um, transport though, transport preference, inbound prisoners. Okay, so those can be toggled off. I guess I would have to put in a different means of. Hmm. Okay, what if I was to do uh, deployment and keep this all as just staff only, right? Does that maybe stop the prisoners from being brought into this deliveries area? I'm kind of hopeful. I, I'm definitely hopeful that we don't end up with prisoners being brought down here because that's definitely not secure and it's way out of the way. All I'm really just wanting to do with all of this, though, is essentially just make it a little bit easier for the trucks to load into the, the road there. So I guess we'll see what happens, is what we'll do. And uh, in terms of all this construction, I, I'm actually kind of inclined to say that maybe we go up to more workmen. Let's go up to 75. Just because we can, basically. Up to 75 workmen, and that should, you know, speed things along a little bit, I would imagine. You know, I, I think that'll uh, do pretty good for us. And in terms of everything else, I mean, the prison is essentially running itself at this point, which is fantastic news. All I want to do, though, with this new space is I want to get it done, and then I want to expand the farming way up into all of this. So everything that is currently prison, I'm hoping I can turn that into all just massive farms, right? I want to make ridiculous money with farms, and I want to automate as much of it as I possibly can. So I want to put in... You know, automated uh, irrigation, uh, harvesting, just everything. Everything that I possibly can. I want as much of it automated as I as I can get. I want as many prisoners working in, in workshops and laundries and cleaning cupboards and the farms, just everything as, as I can possibly get. I want this prison to run itself. And I want it to be, you know, self-sufficient to the point where we don't really need imports of food. We just don't need any of that. We're just, everything that we need, we're making ourselves, essentially. That's that's kind of what I'm looking for. So hopefully that works out. It would certainly be nice if it worked out. Also, prioritizing that, is it going to send guards down here to clean it? No, it sent actual janitors down here to clean it that time. That's nice. Well, that's what you want, I suppose, is actual janitors coming down to, uh, to sort out this area. Definitely not a bad thing. And uh, looking at this, it is actually going a fair bit quicker, which is fantastic news. Now, I guess the question is, what the hell? What the hell is my layout on this? So I'm trying to figure out exactly what everything was supposed to be. I'm pretty sure this is a kitchen. I'm almost certain that is a kitchen. So, yeah, staff area. Is that wall not done? Uh, walls and flooring. Brick walls. There, please. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a kitchen. That's a reception. Uh, this is the way into all of that space. This is the way down to the main cell block. That's the classrooms. And honestly, looking at all this, we could probably just say build all of it. We have got enough money, so... Let's just do that i guess yeah I, I i think i think we can get away with doing this um so let's just try building everything at this point um so all of this needs to come over to about there uh all of this needs to come over to about there uh that is going to be an interior. Uh, this is going to be an interior. This is all going to run up to here. 
That'll be two yards. That'll be farming. That'll be utilities. And that is a lot of construction. That is a ridiculous amount of construction right there.